This is what happened with Mueller. They tried to scare people into ratting on Trump. It didn't work. They were overcharged. And I hope some of these people will have their case revisited. Senator Lindsey Graham, they're telling Sean Hannity last night Mueller tried using scare tactics on witnesses. All this is that DNC lawsuit against the Trump campaign has been dismissed. When I bring in the former independent counsel, Fox News contributor Ken Starr, sir, good morning to you and welcome back to our program here. Um, Gr Graham you, saying Bill. the worst thing you can do is overcharge somebody because once you do that, the rest of the case begins to mm -hmm. fall apart. What do you think about what he was laying out with Sean there, sir? Yeah, well, he's a great senator. He's a great lawyer. I would just uh, offer a friendly amendment. The worst thing you can cho choose to do is to charge an innocent person. But overcharging has, it sounds sort of the same thing, right? But you think the person has done something wrong, but then you, you overcharge to put pressure on them. And so, yeah, it's a very bad, uh, a very uh, unethical practice uh, to engage in this kind of conduct. And that's why, uh, Bill, we have an inspector general to look into these kinds of charges. And of course, we're looking forward to that report. So it's a very serious matter. Well, you got an inspector general, you got a federal prosecutors too. The inspector general looks at the inside workings of the government. The prosecutor looks at all of it. Those who are no longer in government included. We'll see where that goes. Here's the tweet from the White House. Right. The president says, such a great victory in court yesterday on the mm -hmm. Russian hoax, he writes. The greatest political scam in the history of our country, treason. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the attorney general, as you say, sir, the U.S. and all those working with him will find out in great deal tell what happened never again. You think, take this in the totality. You think about the collusion story collapsed thus far. Um, you think about the Michael Cohen prosecution that folded about two weeks ago that had to do with the, the payments of story, Stormy Daniels, etc. And you think about the DNC lawsuit uh, involving WikiLeaks that was dismissed by a judge appointed by Bill Clinton just this week. And so you have a string of court cases that have been run <laughs> through the legal system that have hit dead ends. What, what does that tell you from a legal perspective about maybe what comes next or not? Right. I, I think what comes uh, next is the revelation of the truth, how it all began. So much of this is going, Bill, to how did this get started? Let's go to Genesis chapter 1. And that, again, is what leads us right back to Michael Horowitz and his report. And I think where it's going to lead us, now this is a predictive judgment, I may be proven wrong, is that the entire house of cards collapsed. There was no Russian collusion. There was no conspiracy whatsoever. And ironically, Bill, as you know, the Mueller report itself, for all of its flaws, and I have many criticisms of it, itself demonstrates that time and time again. It does so a bit grudgingly, but there was no conspiracy, there was no collusion, and there were lots of signs along the way, Bill, that there had not been any kind of coordination with Russian operatives and so forth. So what we're hearing now is a lot of rhetoric, but I think in terms of the law, all these various and sundry dimensions of how this all began will be revealed and the entire thing will collapse. Okay, Ken Starr, thank you so much. Really good to get your insight on this and we'll see what comes next, if there is a next, in due time. Thank you, sir. It's good to see you again. Right.